in this video revealing seven quick ways to make passive income today, some of which are literally making people $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More with that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasil here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to $160,000 in profit in as little as 90 days, so check it out right now. So I literally remember the time when I would see my parents work eight to 12 to 16 hours a day, just blood, sweat, and tears just trying to make ends meet. And no matter how hard they worked, just it was just the weirdest thing seeing it as a child. They would still not have enough money to go ahead and for example, do the things that they want and they got more stressed, more unhappy. It kind of like almost ruined their relationship and their marriage because of the stress of finances, which is also another crazy thing. Like most people get divorced, not because of cheating, because of money problems. And because of that, I literally just thought like, why on earth are they fighting so much? Literally it's because they have no money, but no matter how hard they work, they still didn't have any money. So earlier on I knew I needed to find a way to get out of that rat race. I needed a way to get out of the matrix and start living my own life. But because of societal pressures and all of the peer pressure around me from my teachers, my friends, my family, literally I was forced to do the exact same thing. As you can see in this picture right here where I kind of look really nice in my little mask and my little scrubs doing some paperwork in this like dental office, right? Now here's the thing. I thought that this was my path. I thought, oh, you know, maybe one day I'll get like my own dental clinic and I'll make six figures and it's gonna be great and I'm gonna go ahead and do all of these things and check all these boxes and make my mom and dad proud. But then I realized that, oh my God, actually six figures won't fix it because I talked to most dentists and they're completely depressed. They're unhealthy, they're stuck in like this dark little hole most of the day and they have like the highest suicide rates. And I was like, is this really what I want to go ahead and define my path in for the rest of my life? And I was like, no. So then I asked myself, well, what do I really want? And I was like, well, I wanna travel, man. I wanna go ahead and, for example, you know, take the people around the world that I care about, swim with whale sharks, hang out with monkeys, I don't know, like live in like little igloo huts like in the middle of the jungles as well as like talking and doing public speaking and like working on my personality. I'm like, huh, the vehicles that I have right now are the ones that are gonna get me there. So I had to do like a very good audit in myself and ask myself, am I going in the right trajectory that I actually wanted? And it turned out, no. Most of the people watching this, it's not the same trajectory that you actually want to be on. And if you aren't aware of it, you're literally gonna look back 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now being like, damn, I wasted my life. And what literally changed my life was when I figure out a way to make passive income, to separate my time from money so that I could actually learn to actually do the things that I wanted. And when I started doing that, things started changing. I mean, one you know, business model literally went from zero to eight grand in 30 days. Another one went from zero to five grand in 30 days to 1.6 million that first year. Another one literally pulls in like, for example, 35 grand to 46 grand a month. And as you can see, we literally have business models that we start from the ground up and pulling in $346,000 in net commissions with literally out me having my own product. So how the hell was I able to do this? It's literally by stacking a set of skills that I learned from multiple different passive income ideas in which I'm gonna share with you today. So one of the first ways that I literally learned how to make passive income was realizing that, okay, to make passive income, what do you need? You need some type of, like, if you don't have a bunch of money, you need to find a way to do sales, marketing, product, product delivery, right? But all of those take skills. So my biggest goal was how can I outsource, delegate, or automate each one of these steps? So one of the first ways that I found out that I could do was literally selling things on eBay, right? Because eBay, there's people already buying stuff, right? I don't have to do any marketing. People are going to eBay to buy everything, right? I bought like so many things from eBay when I was like younger, right? And like a really good example for this is just type in the word bunk bed cherry and you could see there's 812 results for this bunk bed cherry thing. And notice that they're literally the exact same bunk bed, just in different like Photoshop products and pictures. And if I literally pull up this product right here, you could actually see that this sold twice for 361 bucks. So what I would do is I would just scroll down to just give you an idea of how crazy this is. And I would just come in here, copy and paste this, go to Google on the top, and I would just go click on paste, and it'll tell me where these people got it. And you could see the first thing that popped up is Walmart. Now, of course, like it might be the different colors, so go ahead and click the cherry color, but you could see that it's the exact same bunk bed, 249 bucks right, as it is here, right, but this one is being sold for 361 bucks, right, and look, they even have the exact same pictures, the exact same pictures that, like, for example, this other, like, website sold. So what I did back in the days, whenever I would go ahead and make a sale, I got the shipping details and the customer's, like, like money, right? So if you got paid 361 bucks directly to your PayPal, 
and you had the customer shipping details, I would just literally go click add to cart and then ship it directly to the customer and just keep it as the profit. And you can see that's like a hundred dollar markup. After eBay fees, you're probably keeping 50 bucks profit, right? And if you see the other person's items, you could see just how many other items this person is also selling right now, 477 products. If each one of those gets one sale a month, just imagine like the passive income you could generate from that. Now the second lesson I learned about passive income is finding a way to automate it. Because when I was doing all of this, I like it was okay when I was getting a couple sales a day. When I started getting over 20 to 30 to 40 sales a day, I was like, okay, I cannot physically buy all of these myself, right? It literally takes my time and it feels like another job. So I could either hire it out to somebody else, but I wasn't really trusting of hiring someone else out because I was afraid that they were gonna steal my business. So I found a software that ended up just doing it. And that software was literally Priceyak, right? Priceyak literally connects to your Amazon and Walmart accounts and to your eBay accounts. And whenever someone bought from my eBay account, Priceyak would literally go to Amazon or Walmart, buy it, and then ship it directly to the customer with their details. And they would literally go ahead and, for example, update the tracking on eBay. So it was a lot more passive income for me. And I enjoyed that. And that's how I scaled to $100 a day consistently without taking much of my time. Right now, the third way to go ahead and make passive income is just kind of like leveraging what people that are already really, really big are doing. Right? Some people are literally doing it, for example, for Fanjoy. They sell these like uh, designs on like merchandise for these influencers that are on TikTok and YouTube that are undervalued that don't know how to build a business. And all these people do is check this out. They pull in 10 to $25 million a year, but to do something similar, you could literally do the exact same thing by creating a Shopify store, which takes like, for example, 30 minutes because they have all these done for you templates, connect it to Printful, which they have all of these, you know, t-shirts and designs and logos and hoodies and sweaters and masks and swimwear and dresses that automatically connect to Shopify for free meaning there's no cost to you. And the only time you pay for it is after you've made a sale, kind of like, for example, the eBay and like, for example, uh, Walmart method. And you could literally do the exact same thing, but say if I was gonna go ahead and sell like, for example, I don't know, like cat t-shirts, right? If I just like YouTube the word cat tips, I could come down and kind of find like my own influencers in my own weird niches by looking for people that have number one, a lot of views, but very little subscribers. Here's a really good example of this. Like, look at this, 6,000 subscribers, 69,000 views. Here's another one, look, 4,000 subscribers, 600,000 views, right? These people don't know how to make money because they have very little subscribers, right? But if they made a video that went viral and you started selling, you know, your own like designs and t-shirts and you partnered with them, you know, you could get a lot of sales without really that much risk, right? All you got to do is reach out to them. Their email is like in their about section. You could just go to about and reach out to someone just like that and view their email just to be like, Hey, you know, what if like for every collection people buy from like us that we make of you, you literally get 50% of our profits. Kind of like what, you know, Fanjo would do. Of course, they would make their own deal as well. Now, the fourth way that, you know, people are making passive income online is literally instead of doing this, they're just testing products on AliExpress because all physical products are essentially like originated in China. Like everything's just made in China. So you could find products that haven't yet been sold to the mass market yet because of the fact that, you know, like it's not yet popular over there, right? When China goes ahead and manufactures a product, like they're gonna go and try selling it on AliExpress worldwide. But a lot of people don't know about AliExpress. So what people are doing is they're taking these products, throwing it on their own Shopify store and just selling it as if they're on their own products. And when they're able to sell it with like, for example, Facebook ads or YouTube ads or whatever, right? They literally take the money and then buy it from AliExpress and then drop ship it directly to the customer. Now, the reason why this works so effectively is it allows you to test what works really well before you start making money. And what a lot of people do, like for example, another big company is Gymshark, right? They do over a hundred million dollars a year, like in revenue, is they started dropshipping, but when they started getting a really good product, then they bought it in bulk and then they started warehousing it in, for example, the US. Now, the beautiful thing about it is you get to test things before you invest in bulk, right? So that's why dropshipping might not be a really good long-term business model. It's good to test which products will do well and which one won't. Now, the fifth way to make money that's a lot more long-term than like the AliExpress dropshipping is literally like going back to eBay, like what I did. And I started dropshipping from eBay as the supplier instead of, this, in, instead of you know, the marketplace where I would sell to. 
right? Because I realized like, oh my God, you know, like I can sell grill mats from the US now and it would ship directly to the customer in like within a week. So my customers were a lot happier and I was able to go ahead and scale a lot higher, right? And the coolest thing with this method is when I started like doing hundreds of sales from like this one supplier, they literally reached out to me and they're like, dude, what the heck? Like, did you actually mean to go ahead and buy all of these grill mats? I was like, yeah, you know, I like sell them on dropshipping. Why is there a problem? And they're like, no, it's just, you know, when you buy from eBay, you know, eBay charges us a fee. So if you buy directly from us, we won't charge you that fee. And I'm like, what, are you serious? And like, yeah, we'll actually even connect to your Shopify store with ShipStation and we'll like ship it directly to the customer, we'll update the tracking, everything will be good. And it kind of reminded me of what I was doing with the eBay Walmart price hack method, but it had like way higher profit margins. Like my cost was like, for example, $4 for the grill mat and then I would sell two for, for example, 39 bucks. Right, so it ended up scaling a lot crazier and a lot faster, does that make sense, right? And we ended up using that to really scale like crazy, right? Now the sixth way to make passive income online is literally using ClickBank, because ClickBank literally does what I just talked about in all the other passive income methods, but they have people that will do everything else for free, paying you even more money than the traditional like ways of making money with passive income. As you can see, some of their top products right now are like health and wellness supplements that you do not have to spend your own inventory on, or you do not have to do shipping or handling, or you do not have to do like, for example, customer service, right? And you can see just how many people have made money with this. Like look at this, 1,200 people have made money with this in the past 30 days, and it's $145 commissions, right? So the beauty about this is it's a lot easier to make $1,000 a day than it is to make $100 a day, right? It's literally the exact same, you just have more commissions, meaning more profit, right? The other way is like you could maybe make $10 a sale, $20 a sale, that's fine. But if you wanna like hit higher income goals, sometimes it doesn't actually take more effort. If you just need a little bit more of an expensive product to sell on the back end. Does that make sense? So like I said, ClickBank is a good way because the fact that you know it has higher commissions and you could actually see that you know with ClickBank, it's one of the first ways that I literally started making really good money when I went from zero to eight grand in 30 days. Does that actually make sense, right? Now the last way to make passive income, which is one of the best ways that I've seen right now, especially today, and we literally have people running ads where they don't even have any subscribers and they get 25 million views for products that they don't actually have to create for videos that they don't actually have to create themselves. Check this out, let me play this and you've probably seen, like since you're on YouTube, you've probably seen ads like this. If you wear glasses or contacts, you must see this. A Japanese Nobel. So that's literally a robot voice and you can see like in the back end, like it's literally just like someone doesn't show their face on camera, right? And this channel doesn't have any subscribers and they got 25 million views. And this one ad has probably generated this person like millions of dollars. And it's literally this process that we literally have people in our community go from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks, like Dina at age 47 years old as a stay at home mom. And if you wanna know what she did as well as hundreds of other people did as well with this brand new method, then sign up for this week's free workshop below as well check out this video and this podcast right here. Hopefully this helps, love you guys, see you guys later, woo!